The time has officially come. It is the Super Bowl in our Chicago Bears online user franchise going up against the 14-3 Cincinnati Bengals. This is going to be a good one. Let's take a look at those players of the week. See who got one. Fields and Gordon with Burrow and Jackson. Obviously, our side, uh, specifically with Gordon, not the best numbers, but... Uh, Jackson with two interceptions and a touchdown. I gotta be careful. I gotta look at this roster, obviously, and see what we're cooking up against, because the AFC is obviously just a complete mystery to me. And we're here facing off against the very best of the AFC with Doughboy playing as the Bengals. Of course, the big story for today's game, besides the fact that it's for the Super Bowl, is that DeAndre Swift is returning from his, I don't even know, six game, I believe, hiatus as an injury player. We got a dev up for... Is it anyone else? Mitchell and Darnell Washington. Okay, there. I was about. I was like, wait a minute, one sec. I got to see these dev ups. Darnell Washington with star dev, and of course Mitchell with superstar dev. Mooney did not do enough, so one would argue maybe he gets traded. Maybe I don't know. I'm not really sure. But rookie of the year uh, gets superstar dev. Matchup nightmare with return man. What is in return? Bro, Volker is with his over there. What's his speed? I don't want to lose him, but at the same time, if you got a kick return touchdown, it could be big. Guaranteed almost to break the first tackle. I mean, Zaylen Mitchell might be a return man this week. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, we got a couple of upgrades. got a lot of upgrades you got to get to. And then defensively, you know, this is what we're looking at. Crawford also back from injury. It's a great squad. Let's take a look at his injury, see if he has any. We're finally healthy for the first time in many a week. And then we'll see if he is injured, of course. We're fine. One down. And uh, it is his tight end, J.D. Price. I'm not sure if this guy is his starter starter. I would imagine. It looks pretty damn. He looks pretty good. Um, but I don't know who his backup is. We're going to find out who the starting tight end is along with the rest of that roster. We also have the Super Bowl Media Day, which we'll take a look at. But boom, one down. Joe Burrow, 89 throw power with literally 99 and everything. Even break sacks, 99. Play action, not. But break sack for Joe Burrow at 99? That's ridiculous. Quorum is an X Factor who is very, very fast. Uh, good juke ability and all that. Went with defend short this game, so I feel like that's going to be a problem. I mean, I feel like a lot's going to be a problem. Look at these receivers as well. I mean, this is a good team. Even I mean, Albert O being in might be better than the guy that's injured. Uh, Orlando Brown, he's a pretty damn good left tackle. Darby, he's not a bad youngster left guard. Whitfield, the center, not the best, but he's good enough. Kappa, very good. And then Latham, uh, not bad at all, especially for the uh, pass block finesse. Left end is Trey Hendrickson, who is 94-plus finesse move, which is really good. And then Miles Murphy, who's an X-Factor at 98-plus power move. DJ Reader, very good at both styles, but is specifically run-stopping. And then uh, Kamaka is uh, really good at block sh shedding as well. Very fast, Pratt. Middle linebacker Matthews, the guy we were going to draft, uh, very good as well. And then Logan Wilson's really good. Obviously, a lot of players are boosted in this game uh, just because of, you know, uh, it's probably like one of those crazy morale things. DJ Turner, Awuzie, and Cam Taylor Britt are a ridiculous trio. Daxton Hill is insanely good. And then Battle is probably his worst player on his entire roster, and that's saying something. A lot of teams in this league are pretty damn juiced. His team and our team is one of them. Let's get this media day. What do we got? I think we're going to say just the beginning because we believe it's just the beginning, even though I've seen a lot of success with the other one. 10 staff points is 10 staff points, though. I mean, five bucks is five bucks. Uh, let's get our upgrades in and play the Super Bowl. Daylon Mitchell, his weaknesses are kind of short route, medium route. So we're going to go with a release uh, or a physical because it'll give him release and short route, I'd imagine. Which, let's see what it actually does. It gives him a release. Two to catch traffic, one to stiff arm. Maybe not the best stuff. And then we'll go with slot, because I think slot's really good for short slash medium. And once again, those are his kind of big issues right now. Two to short, two to catch in traffic. So, uh, or two to, yeah, two to catch in traffic, actually. I was right. Not bad, but yeah, still, still kind of lacking a little bit. Got some offense alignment upgrades. I mean, I doubt you guys really care about that. How good even is he? So pass uh, protector, even though I feel like that's one of the worst upgrades in the game. I feel like I never get upgrades for this. Like, they're always usually pretty mid. Like, that's really mid. Let's be so for real. That's mid as hell. Uh, and everyone else is basically a backup. Take a look at those X Factors as well. Joe Burrow with Fearless, Sideline Deadeye, Set Feet Lead, Red Zone Deadeye, Inside Deadeye, and Running Gun, which are amazing abilities. Double Me, one of the best set of abilities you can get. Mid and Elite, Mid Out Elite, Slot Automatic, and Red Zone Thread. Miles Murphy, Unfakeable, Double or Nothing, Secure Tackler. I feel the pain. 
Uh, Ankle Breaker for Blake Corum with Spin Cycle, Reach Forward, and Return Man. Cam Taylor Britt with some actually decent abilities. Outside Shade's all right. Deep Zone KO is uh, all right as well. And then On the Ball is not terrible. T. Higgins with Runoff Elite, Short In Elite, and Mid In Elite. Not bad, actually. Daxon Hill with amazing abilities. Uh, Chidobia Wuze, not bad either. DJ Reader, okay abilities. And then... I don't know who this is. Right defensive end, fair enough. And here it is, the Atlanta Falcons Stadium. So if we would have lost that game, we would have uh, he would have had a home game as well, kind of. It would have been really funny to see him as the away team. can't really remember what happened with um, the likes of the Buccaneers. And uh, who's the other team? Who's the other one that just hosted? Was the Rams? Yeah. Were, were both of those teams technically home teams as well? Mitchell, deep, very deep in fairness. And Mitchell... Breaks off the tackle with Return Man. Shows off the speed. And I can see why no one kicks it deep. His first ever NFL kick return is a touchdown. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can see why Rod with the Colts always got those returns uh, with A.J. Brown. It is busted. It's like It literally is like guaranteed the first tackle attempt is just broken. He's got a chance to return it too. It's a little deep. And we're out here. I don't know if his guy has the ability as well, but we tackle them at least. Jay Jones on a pretty strong route, potentially, and really good defense on that run attempt. Loss of two, Corum. Really wasn't even ready to defend the run there either, so pretty impressive so far on that first play. Although we'll say, though, we haven't had a kick return touchdown in a while, so does that break the... Uh, I don't even know what I would say. The, the schedule... I don't even know, but he's going to take that outside. He will get the first down. Good find to the backup tight end. What play even was that? Bench. Okay, interesting. Felt like it was really open and like a lot deeper than the route said it was. Maybe I need to not knock those plays until I try them because I never run those plays. And it's a good try, but Corm's going to gain about seven. A lot better than that first attempt. Uche, our best rusher. Oh, I left that open. That's a good play by us, though. Good stuff. Mitchell gains nine. And to the backup tight end, actually. I thought it was maybe not even the backup, but the tight end. I actually thought it was to the running back. I didn't even see what route that was. It looked like another, like, kind of wheel route, but obviously that's the tight end, which is not really a common thing to see, but maybe it was. I don't know. Free rush. Hit as he's throwing, and if we would have got really insanely lucky, Boogie could have made a play on that, but good defense. I mean, we did all right, I think. Buckner, no! I couldn't switch off in time. I was moving him over, and then I switched, and he gave me the wrong guy. It was a little too slow, I think. Oh, I bumped my own guy, unfortunately. Drags are really hard to stop, in fairness. To the eight. This is not a bad spot for us to be. We are not really ready. I just pulled him out of position. Oh, good blocking. Man, I can't believe the blocking he's getting, though. Guess we do just suck at stopping the run. Mitchell will get another chance. It's deep. Blocking doesn't seem as good, but it's still pretty damn good. As Mitchell takes it all the way to the 35. Unbelievable. Mitchell's a goon. Obviously, having Return Man is just busted. Don't know why Return Man just works so well, but it does. Let's go with a play-action boot. See what we got. Wide open to Darnell. Who uh, stiff arms, I guess, 8 yards. Not bad. Running left into Miles. Great lane, about five yards for Swift. I'm trying not to get into my habit of throwing deep because obviously you, you looked at the last play. I don't think a single ball went past like five yards in the air. But at the same time, I like to play the way I play, so I don't know. Done all right for us so far. And we're going to run with Fields, who gets about five. Darnell Washington injured. That's not cool. We do have a pretty deep tight end room, though. At least the second tight end. I don't even know who our third tight end. Do we even have a third tight end? I don't even know. Running it to his kind of strong side. Good move by... And, of course, he fumbles. Of course. Holding as well. Every single game I'm playing against EA. Gotta love that. That's fun. I'm sure will force a hit stick this game. A fumble anyways. Missed tackle there hard. I genuinely don't understand how people get so many fumbles on us. Like, like we just fumble like 24-7. 
And the blocks have been perfect. Nice hit. Where's my fumble? All the time in the world, man. Let's go find. I'm just getting no pressure and fumbling 24-7. That's that's basically been the uh, the playoffs for me. Good PRPO, so I'm gonna cover. Nope. All right. <laughs> okay. What is that? Just instantly got stuffed. That's why I always go for hit stick. There's just no point in going conservative. Unless you're, like, literally the only guy that can make the tackle and it's going to be, like, a huge touchdown and you're going to have to, like, hope the conservative works. It's just not worth it. You're not getting value out of it. You're just always going to get broken tackle. Even Elijah Mitchell, the backup running back, just, just stiff-armed us. Like, <laughs> it's just not going to work out. Good teamwork that actually kind of worked for us. Was that a pitch play? How the hell is it only a loss of two, though? Or one? It felt like it was more than that. Maybe it was, like, it's like basically three, but they called it one. Risker against, uh... Oh, nice tackle. There you go. That's, that's clutch defense, though. That's clutch defense. Fumble that I couldn't control. Only giving up three. That's, I mean... Could have been worse. Super deep return. Like, what's going on? These, these kicks are booming. And Mitchell, or not Mitchell, uh, yeah, Mitchell takes it to 29. I was thinking of his Mitchell for a second. I was like, he doesn't, we're not Mitchell. Oh, yeah, we do have Mitchell. Zaylin Mitchell. He's got Elijah. They're clearly brothers. That's how that works. Trap play with the guy that made me really sad a second ago. Need a bunch of yards, 15. Like, I could have slowed down, but I felt like there's a good chance I get caught if I do anyways. So just get as many yards as you can. Mitchell down the field could be our guy. Uh, this guy pulled off really, really quickly there. Swift. And there's Swift. A little bit of a late hit. Just didn't want him to, like, you know, get injured or do the thing he just did. I don't want to keep bringing it up because uh, it's going to jinx him to do it again. He's like, oh, yeah, you want another one? It's like, no, you're, you're good, dude. You are very much so good. Good play. Great throw, great size usage. Did say Darnell will be fine, so I didn't want to push him back because I imagine he'll be back in the third, probably. Does he actually think it's a run? I don't know. Really good blocking. Good play, good tackle. Still gained about seven. We score quickly. I think we're in a good spot to try and score again before half. I think so. Inside leverage. Maybe I get the zig with Mooney, but this is kind of my go-to play with the slant. Kill Komet, and that's going to be picked off. I don't know how his guy made that play, but Fields should be there. That is crazy. I don't think it was an overthrow either. I think his safety just made an insane play for him, which is, I think, our old safety, no? What are the odds? Is that not our safety that we, like, didn't start? Literally can't make this stuff up. Good job, Buckner. Unless that's a different... Nah, I'm pretty sure that's our safety. Shouldn't have been picked. I don't know how he makes the jump on that. I get it's kind of, like, near the red zone or whatever, but still... Well, I thought that was a screen. Taking the drag again. That's why I gotta stop trying to go deep, because like everything's been a drag so far so much. So like why am I making it harder on myself when I could just run, you know, a drag pretty much every play? Like look how many yards you get on the drag. It doesn't matter, you run man, zone, whatever. It's like the drag is always open. Oh, and he catches it. That's Shamar Chase saving him. I really thought we had him there, and apparently not. But am I crazy? But like I just wanna know, like did I genuinely make a bad read, or was it a bad throw? Was it a bad depth of route? Another underneath throw you just can't cover. <laughs> oh, God. It's so painful. And he gets uh, balled half, so we really need to stop this for a field goal and maybe score a touchdown before half. But, yeah, the drags and, the, like, the short route stuff is just so hard to cover. And with blocks like this, the run's hard to cover, too. One commit, gains a yard. Back of the end zone's pretty open. Oh, wow, that was... I know it's a long throw, but he should have taken T. I was having to cover, like, everyone and their grandma, and I just, I couldn't. I'm gonna go with Boogie. I'm gonna run mid, but I'm gonna drop off. How is that caught? Everything's a drag! I mean, we're on that, and it's still not covered. <laughs> And Mitchell bail us out because we're playing like crap. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a GG. 
If that's a tackle, I don't know what to tell you. That's a, it's a GG. Who the hell is Johnson? Is that someone I know? Swift, clutch. He's going to be covering Cole Komet, but I mean, you never know. I thought he just didn't get... Oh, okay. I guess we're staying in bounds. <laughs> Try to go to the outside. I just thought he didn't uh, get the ball there. I thought he overthrew him. Got plenty of time. We'll run the ball. He's pinching him, but he still shouldn't be able to defend this. Good use by him. I'm not spamming any because I'm just going to fumble instantly again. That is not something I want to do again. Didn't even fumble because of that either, but I just know I will. Clock's not a big problem, but you got to you know, pay attention to it a little bit. Good catch. Call timeout. Like, that was a really bad read, but yet it's wide open pretty much because of the drag. Looks like zone. Can't tell. Do I trust more to be open? Good bait out by him. It's a good bait out. That might still hit that throw, but I feel like it's, you know, it's kind of a force for no reason. We got plenty of time. I don't know who Fields is talking to. He's talking to the ref. He's like, ref, come on. Come on, help us out. We're struggling. Come on, G. Uh, what it look like. Drag route. Good catch. Two timeouts. Drag route. Easy. Cole Komet. Oh, I thought he was breaking the tackle. Let's spike it. 15 seconds left. Really could use a touchdown here. From the seven. Maybe. It's crazy. Hear me out. Maybe we don't turn the ball over at the end of the drive. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. No one picks it up. <laughs> oh, it's a three-man rush. We just failed to pick up a three-man rush, I guess. Drops that. He j Okay. He ain't on one today. I don't know. I don't feel good about it. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be real with you. I don't feel good about it. He ain't hosing me. What can I say? I had to tackle him. Holy crap. I would say got to do better, but our biggest issue right now is that we're not getting off the line. Like, that's simply just the biggest issue right now. I sure, our offense isn't playing well, but these long drives are killing us. The kicker cooking. They're killing us. Obviously, turnovers, you know, that pick. I Once again, I still I hope I can see it at the end of the game. I still don't think that's my fault. I still absolutely believe that's open. I don't know if Cole Komet made a mistake. I don't know if it was overthrown. I don't know if his guy just made a crazy good play, but that is just not a play that should have been covered the way it was, and it, it was... Okay, I mean, what do you do there? What do you do there? Tell me. Give me one good example of how we make that work to our advantage. And Gordon going against Jamar seems scary. I'm just leaving him. Like, I just I just got burned. And I just tackled nobody. Where's our fumble? I guess I have to just run man coverage because it is going to be a lot of short plays. And that's, like, at best, the best way to stop it. Does have the tight end. Backup level players. Oh, what a hit. Backup level players just burning our very good players because of speed only. And he falls forward against three players. Can we do something right? Maybe. Also, that reminds me our tight end is Juwan Johnson. That is who the Johnson is. Whip out your Johnson. Tight end's wide open over the middle. I saw that. Oh, it could have been a fumble. Good play. All right, Mitchell. Oh, we could have found him crazy. Kicks are deep, but at this point, our offense has been so bad, and our defense can't stop anyone that we need the quick plays, you know? That's a bait. Good try. I seen that's where he was going every day of the week, but I just felt like I could still hit it, and I really couldn't. I'm trying to ca play catch up, and I'm forcing things now. I mean, this guy covered both rounds. <laughs> Holy crap. Where do I sign up for these players that everyone has? Like, my guys are this game can't cover their guy. But everyone else's players are covering multiple players. Like, I genuinely don't understand. That threw it right at him. Oh my god, he is getting unlucky there. It is a linebacker, though. We're absolutely losing this game. I'm just like, his guys are locking me down to be fully for real. 
Like, look at the coverage. The coverage is great. The pass rush is great. And we've just got nothing going for ourselves right now. I'm seeing ghosts. This will take a miracle at best. Like, these guys are literally playing perfectly right now. I should maybe run the ball because he's got, like, nobody here. He's still going to get, like, a block shed watch. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just being a hater. Maybe I'm just being a hater. I was about to say, that D-line is, you know, it, it, they ain't got nobody there. So if we don't at least get five, that would be really just unfortunate. Swift did fumble for us, but you know what? Maybe he's still the guy. Maybe he's still the guy that can get us out of this hole. Because my reads sure as hell ain't going to get us there. Great blocking as well. Oh, wow. What a tackle. I do not know how his guy caught me. There was a DJ Turner. Might have been, to be fair. Very fast player. And that's Cam Taylor Britt. Still a pretty fast player, though. And just instant again, bro. I don't understand. Where are these sheds for me? I've got Uche. He's really good. He's comparable with anyone on his team. I don't know. I'm also running like another like play that everyone knows. Oh, here's verticals. Who would have thought? And that's pick. I'm trash. I'm garbage. I'm just terrible. Fields? Hello, Fields? You're faster than him. Damn, GG. I mean, that's just not even open. Still not over, not giving up. And my guy doesn't get the block. Oh my god, dude, one thing. Just please, give me one block. That's all I ask. Mooney, these guys are played perfect coverage. I highly doubt it. Oh my god, yeah, GG. Genuinely think it was just the fact that he's got corners of outside shade because you can just play inside and then shade outside. Get out of my way. The only scores I'm having this game are kick return touchdowns. So bad. Celebrate, try to get him like angry or something and maybe he makes a mistake. That's like literally the only like logic there. So obviously I'm not celebrating because I'm winning. So I'm definitely going to win there. Uh... Is, do we not have anything quick that's from the left side? There we go. Something like that. Drop. That's, that's a tough one. His linebacker is covering my wide receiver, just so you know. His, Logan Wilson has played against wide receivers and not cared. It's ridiculous. Oh, that was actually kind of close, no? Like, if he would have actually went for the ball instead of watched it go out of bounds, was that not fair? I think that would have been a legal kick, no? I think that was 10 yards. Well, I'm not going to give up. I ran a ran com uh, run commit because it was a really bad spot, and he got, like, a free touchdown. I pretty much had no choice. And that could have been a fumble. Oof. I think he thought it was another run commit. Who am I against? Running back. <laughs> the blocks, bro. The blocks. I don't know. I don't know how you win games. Got inside uh, defense on for this half, and... A run D, run inside anyways, and he's just getting ridiculous blocks. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, I just, I don't feel, like, he's, you know, we've gotten some blocks against him too, but, like, I just feel like everyone gets crazy blocks when they're going against us, though. Like, and he had plays where he probably should have had picks with his guy. Like, I know it's a linebacker, they don't really jump, they don't really go for picks, but... There you go, good sack, I suppose. But, you know, they still, in my opinion, he was in position to, to catch those. He probably should have had more. He really should have. I don't know what the hell to do. Cover three, defend a potential screen, I guess. Well, it's not going to be a screen pass, I don't think. Nobody on M. Uh, hello? All day to throw, nobody on anyone. I don't know what to tell you. I thought I... No, I did actually move the safety. That is my fault. I kind of said I was covering the mi deep mid. That's my fault, actually. But still, nobody covering anybody, and... Yeah, I was just never going to win this game. And it doesn't help that I played like crap. Played like crap. The team difference, like, his guys played like they were 10 uh, overalls higher, despite the fact that both teams are similar. So, I don't know. Guys just woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. Only, literal only score I can get is on kick returns. Like... And they're like no skill returns as well, so there's like nothing redeemable about that either. If I broke like 45 tackles because I was juking and dodging, maybe. But no, I've, I just played like crap, and my only scores are, are basically freaking AI autopilot plays. I mean, I didn't want to throw to him because it's just not many yards, but his guys are cooking. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is. His guys are just playing 10 times better than ours. You can see it. You can just see it. Don't know if it's abilities or what, but you could see that at every turn, his guys are covering perfectly. And our guys are not. That's a decent little play. Only receiver that makes any, you know, use is freaking fields. Or, um, fields. Uh, Swift, that's the guy. I throw that. And drops it. That is a nutshell. That is the game in a nutshell. Third quarter, we got smoked. Good play. Did you drop it? Wait, we didn't. We didn't drop the ball. Holy crap! I don't know how the hell he dropped that ball though. I think he thinks it's screen. No, he doesn't. Oh, I thought he was gonna fumble. That looked like prime punch out fumble mode. That really did. I was like, no, please, not again. I've had too much pain this game. Good catch. I thought he was gonna drop it. Went for the pick or the swat. It was something. And right into a hit stick. I thought he was gonna get that stop. Not that it was a stop, but you know what I mean. Can we get an offensive touchdown? That'd be kind of cool. It's a good user by him. If we would have got picked because my quarterback just missed that bad, that would have been pain. Been hitting us with the drags a lot this game. I think that's the the move. Drags are just open. I should have taken that. And he stops running. You've got to be kidding me. His guys are still playing ridiculously. Oh, that's insane. I got smoked. Rip. I still run command. Why not? The D, obviously not going to be a safety, but close. Damn. I mean, all day to throw this game. There you go, Buckner. Look how slow he is. I mean, look at the coverage. Like, look at the coverage. Oh, you bum. I, I don't feel bad anymore. I never stood a chance. I mean, running man coverage on drags and it working 10 yards deep on a goal line play? I mean, that's just crazy. That's a good pick by us. It's not going to really matter, but... Oh my. That throw is wild. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what it is, but in the Super Bowl, we just suck. Oh, I left that wide open. That's my fault. We are like... We're like the Peyton Manning, but of just the Super Bowl. But that throw by Fields is wild. Everything else, I can't really blame him. Uh, maybe the first throw was, you know, him, perhaps, but... Yeah, the other ones are just terrible reads, <laughs> can't lie. But well, not even just terrible reads, but just the fact that, like, how is Dawson ever one-on-one -on -one against, um, what's his name? Jamar. How? Burrow got smacked. Like, the only time we're getting pressure is because, obviously, he has such a big cushion. He's just kind of, like, throwing it up, having fun, doing whatever. But we don't get that time to throw when, you know, everything was drags earlier on. Like, you're getting that ball out quick like that, you're never going to have a chance. Wide open, good fun. But unfortunately, we get smoked 45 to 22. Uh, Doughboy played a really good game, and I was just really bad in that game. Uh, of course, I just felt like nobody was really open. I don't know if, if I was just missing reads, or maybe my, predict my plays are too predictable, and I did kind of like go away from the run. That might have been a big part of it as well, but unfortunately, uh, we lose another Super Bowl because we're, you know, ass. <laughs> but congrats to Doughboy, of course, and... Uh, I'm not sure if there's another season or not. I'm not really sure. It's, you know, things have kind of slowed down in the league, and I'm not sure how many people are even interested in playing anymore, and I don't even know how many of you guys are interested in watching anymore. You guys don't really seem like you're, you're not that invested anymore. I think the team has just gotten too good, and I know we haven't won a Super Bowl, but it has gotten too good to the point where it's like we're not even developing the roster anymore. We're just 
we're just playing and we're, we're like fast forward to the playoffs and see if we can win a Super Bowl. It's like the regular season doesn't matter anymore and developing players doesn't really matter anymore. And it's just all about like, can we actually win the big one? And, you know, that's that's OK, but it's almost like, you know, just just skip to the playoffs. You know, who cares? But, yeah, definitely not our best performance. Uh, Justin Fields, five interceptions, 200 yards, I suppose. But, yeah, his uh, his coverage was locked on. Ours was literally butter. You could literally you know, throw a freaking 60 overall quarterback in against us, and he probably freaking wins. But um, Swift was our best receiver. I mean, literally, Albert O was, like, open all game. So it is what it is. I mean, we just sucked. We just sucked as a whole. Like, I don't think I played well, but I also think uh, at least – at least one bear won a freaking Super Bowl. Uh, I I don't think I was good, but I also think that we were in a losing battle from the get go. I mean, I would honestly like—is there another like pick or something I could see in here? Let's see. So let's see off the rip. I mean, I am running a lot of like too far of a route type of situations here, though. I mean, press pressed up, or I even yeah, was it pressed up? Pressed up hasn't beat right here. Right, that like that's a route win. And then just no separation. Just zero separation all the way down the field. That's just unfortunate. And then this one, I think I threw right at the linebacker, right? Not open there. Maybe I could have waited because he stepped in. But no, I couldn't have waited because we were about to get sacked. Uh, maybe Mooney, like, right here. But, I mean, I don't even know if I get that off. The guy's right on me. Yeah, I might have just been seeing ghosts. I think I may have just been seeing ghosts, to be fair. Let's see, what was this one? Ran the blitz. It's per picked up perfectly. Five blockers, five blitzers, and there is no one getting home. There is a no one getting close to home. How many do you bring on this play? Four beats the double team is in quicker than we could get in with five. And did I have a running back blocker there? Oh, my. Yeah, I mean, it's just our team played worse, really. I, like, I didn't play well myself, but... Team-wise, it wasn't even close. Like, his team outplayed ours by a lot. One-on-one, -on -one, it's 3v5. My left tackle is just standing there, never looking around, and we just we die. I throw a quick over to Swift. I'm not scoring on that play. Not even coming close to scoring, probably. Maybe that's one of the big problems, because he didn't really seem to care about, oh, getting the first down every play, getting the touchdown every play. He's just like, hey, I am going to get as many yards as possible every single time, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, what happened? Oh, yeah, this is the bad throw. <laughs> Oh, man, that was not... I mean, there's a lot of people here. My own guy kind of bumps into me 45 times. I throw that, obviously, to uh, Darnell, and I'm just gone. But it is what it is. That is uh, that is how the season ends. Jalen Johnson with an upgrade. I mean, he's going to need more than whatever he's got now because, holy crap, these players got torched. Maybe I needed to be more aggressive. Maybe I needed to run more press man because uh, our zone coverage is getting torched. I ran man coverage, but we were getting beat deeper on man coverage uh, so that's why i kind of like went away from that how do we get so many franchise or staff points uh, how did was it just because like hey you you made the super bowl but lost again you loser uh but yeah gg to doughboy once again uh falling back to back super bowl sucks and it feels like both super bowls you got smoked did we not i can't really remember actually you can look at the league can't you was the other one at least closer? No, not really. <laughs> I mean, it was 41, 48 to 31. But if I'm not mistaken, that was another one of those games where the score isn't even as close as it was. Just like this last one. Like, this game wasn't 22 to 45. It was like 45 to 0, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have no idea if we're doing another season or not. And if we are, maybe it's like a, a season where I, I just like put a bunch of games all in one. Like, maybe half of a season into one video, and then the other half, and then the playoffs or something. Because, I don't know, it just feels like there's not as much to do in this league anymore. Because we developed our team so quickly, right? Like, wh what's the real position we can upgrade? Nothing on offense. I mean, Dar Darnell Washington plays like an elite tight end. So it doesn't really matter that he's a lower overall and he's being developed anyways. And then defensively, just, what, outside linebacker and then Crawford? I guess we need new pass rushers because they never do anything. But in general, there's, you know, this team is basically built maxed up anyways so you know it's just a, what it is what it is i suppose but if we have another episode you'll see that another episode if not i appreciate you guys watching this series uh you know if you started all the way back when and then you watch it all the way to this point you just watch a couple episodes you're like what it's just it's ending i just started watching whatever it may be i appreciate it and uh if you are new this would be a really weird video for you to like check out for the first time if you're new 
But if you are new, I appreciate your continued support on the channel. And that is basically it. Thanks for watching this series or video, whatever, you know, if this is the end or not. But until, uh, you know, hopefully come back for next video or series. But until next video or series.